frankly, it's a way to get around the politicians because the politicians inevitably have a political ax to grind, a partisan ax to grind when it comes to electoral reform. If they tend to be elected under the current system, well, surprise, surprise, they want to keep that system. Electoral reform talks return to Ottawa with a motion calling for a national citizens assembly to find recommendations on a new system. The motion has strong support from the Liberals and NDP. The conservative Democratic reform critic says he supports the spirit of the motion but says a citizens assembly alone isn't enough. Nothing short of a referendum will suffice. A referendum is needed in order that any new electoral system have the moral weight and legitimacy that would be needed. Justin Trudeau campaigned on ending the current first-past-the-post system in 2015, but no changes were made after taking office. Opponents have criticized changes to the system as potentially being too complex. Fairvote Canada says it doesn't have to be. For example, right now Ottawa sends eight MPs to Parliament. Seven are Liberals, meaning people who voted for Conservatives, the NDP or Greens are not effectively represented. Under proportional representation, regions like Ottawa would split the region's seats based on voting results. If 25% of the voters in the Ottawa region uh, voted, uh, let's say, NDP, then the NDP would get two seats. And if 50% voted Liberal, well, and four of them would get, uh, four Liberals would get seats. The motion is non-binding, but has strong support from the Liberal Party, with half of the seconding MPs being members of government. At least one Conservative MP has seconded the motion, too, and the Bloc say they'll support it, but want a referendum on any changes. We're seeing now more than ever that Canadians need to see real solutions being implemented, and this has been a, a positive um, discussion and a positive solution being put forward uh, to instill hope in Canadians. Motion 86 is scheduled for a vote Wednesday. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.